Mechanical equipment comes in all shapes and sizes and performs many different functions. In this video, I'd like to start a new project, bring in an architectural link, bring in a rooftop unit, then bring in a VAV and check them out. Let's get started by jumping in the Revit. Let's go to projects. Let's go new. Now I'm going to start using my mechanical template and I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to click on link Revit. And I'm going to browse where I'm keeping my exercise files. I'm going to find my architectural model. And I'm going to open it up. I'm going to select my architectural model and I'm going to pin it. I want to click on edit type right here. Now I want to turn on room bounding by clicking on this button right here. I'm going to click apply. Then I'm going to click OK. What I'd like to do now is go to one ceiling mechanical plan. So I'm going to go to one ceiling mech under ceiling plans, HVAC, mechanical in my project browser. I'm going to zoom into this area here. Now I'm going to go to systems. Now I'm going to click on mechanical equipment. Notice one thing, the first thing that comes up is radiator hydronic fin tube. But if we look down here on the bottom, it says click on wall to place instance. Notice that we can't. Like I mentioned before, if a family is not created face-based and it's created wall-based, floor-based, or ceiling-based, it will not work in a linked model, rendering it completely useless. So in the properties, I'm going to click the drop down and find something that I can use. I'm going to grab my VAV unit parallel fan powered VAV. I'm going to grab size 2, 10 inch inlet. Now, if you notice, we can't see it. Like I've mentioned before, we can either host an item to a face or to a level. Notice this is hosted to a level. So for my offset, I want to go 10 feet and hit enter. Now, I want to put my unit right about here. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Now I can see it. I always like to cut a section through it, so I'm going to click on my section button. I'm just going to cut a section right through it. Double click on my section. I'm going to zoom in down here, and here it is safely above my ceiling. As mentioned before, we can click on the dimension button and give a dimension off the bottom of that VAV unit. Hit escape a few times. I'm going to hit control tab to go back down to my floor plan. I want to make a roof plan though. So let's go to our south elevation by double clicking on this elevation marker. I'm going to come up to my roof plan. Now I'm going to go to my architecture tab. I'm going to click on my level button or you could type LL for level. On my draw panel, I'm going to click on my pick lines button. Now I'm going to select the 74 foot roof. I'm going to click on this little grip and I'm going to drag it out a little bit. I'm going to turn on the bubble. Hit escape a few times. Instead of mechanical three, I'm going to select it. I'm going to pick it again. I'm going to type in three space hyphen space roof and hit enter. Select yes to rename corresponding views. And we have one mech, two mech, three roof. I'm going to double click on my roof level. Now what I'd like to do is bring in another mechanical equipment. So I'm going to go to systems. I'm going to click on mechanical equipment, but this time I'm going to click on load family. I'm going to scroll down till I find mechanical. I'm going to go MEP. I want to go to an air side component. Now notice we have all kinds of different units we can bring in. I want to go to air handling units. Now I want to scroll down till I find outdoor AHU horizontal. Just because it doesn't say rooftop, that doesn't mean we can't put it on a rooftop. Outdoor AHU horizontal. Let's click open. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to pick a spot like, I don't know, right about here. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Now, once I select this unit, notice all of the items that are preset that I can draw off of. Also notice our properties over here. Now remember, if we select a unit and make an edit to one of these properties, it will only pertain to this unit itself. If we click on edit type and make an edit to any of these properties, every outdoor AHU horizontal six square feet of coil will be modified in our project. 
I'm going to hit cancel. Now that I have it selected, I want to click on edit family. Notice all the connectors that we looked at before are in place. We have our electrical connector. We have our piping connectors. And if we scroll around to the side here, we have our gigantic duct connectors. They don't look that big because the unit's big, but they're gigantic. I'm going to close out of this. Click no to save the unit. Go to a 3D view. Now we have one single VAV and we have one rooftop unit, both loaded into our project.